Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The Cambria County Neighborhood Watch Group working to clean up the community. Hearing from a mother who lost her son to heroin and how to help step up in the community. Jacqueline Kovac was there and has more on that tonight. Jackie? Marty, neighbors in the Moxham neighborhood have had a neighborhood watch group on and off for several years. And in recent years, crime and drug activity has increased, and so has their presence in their community. I mean, our, our message to the, to the drug dealers and these people that are coming here and ruining our community is that we don't want you here anymore. Dozens of neighbors listened to Vonda Probus talk about the impact of drugs and crime in our area. And they saw the good that was being done. And, and, and things, then people started uniting. Provost is working to form more crime watch groups in the hope of creating a countywide organization. Several ideas were exchanged on how neighbors can step up and help stop the crime in their area. You know, pay attention to what's going on. Uh, write down information, call the police. You are going to see a lot more what's happening in your, your community doing that. Those involved in the group don't just clean up the community by alerting local police to the criminal activity around their homes. They also hit the streets, picking up trash along the way. There is a direct relation between an increase in blight in a community and an in increase in crime. And so also whatever we can do to help with, with those problems, and I consider trash being all over the place, a part of the blight problem, not just a rundown house. Johnstown Police Captain Andrew Freer says Moxham was the first community to form a neighborhood watch, and the extra eyes and ears help an already busy police force. They know what they're looking for, they're trained that way. It was a lot of them went through the Citizens Police Academy, so they know what they look for. Anyone can be the eyes and ears for their community. If you see something suspicious, don't hesitate to call police. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News.